Hello friend, welcome in the 30 days of code in Hacker Rank. So today is the day 21 and today we solve the problem about generics. So let's go to the problem. So I simply read the talk section, write a single generics function name print array. This function must take an array of generics elements as a parameter. The exception to this C++ which takes a vector. This locked solution class in your editor test your function. So to solve this problem you simply write a generics function name print array. So what is generics? So generics is the method of programming that enables to write a algorithm that works for all data types. And if I go to the geeks for geeks and search for generics in C++ it simply defines generics programming enable the programmer to write a general algorithm which will work with all data types. It eliminates the need to create different algorithm if the data type is an integer, string or a character. So in these two sentence you simply understand why we use the generics and what is the use of generics program. So I think you understand what is generics. So I simply go to the input format. The locked solution class in your editor will pass different types of arrays to your print array function. So that means for input format the locked solution code that are present in hacker rank editor that pass different types of array to your print array function. So here one constraint is present you must have exactly one function named print array. So here output format your print array function should print each element of its generic array parameter on a new line. So you simply print the element of the array in a new line. So this is the simple problem but here no sample input and output are present. So I simply go to my hacker rank editor and select C++ language. For generics problems, few programming language are eligible to solve this problem. So I simply choose C++ and I click in this three dot to expand this section and I simply go through this main function. So at first the C in N that means it simply takes the variable value of N and then it simply declare a integer type vector array and then it simply take user input as an integer type and then store it in int vector array and here the same looking code are present but here the string type vector array is declared. So after that is simply store the value into the string vector but this time the value is string type. So after taking user input and then store this value into the vector type array, it's simply called two function. But the name of this two function is same. That means it is one function, but it simply pass two type of value. One is integer type and one is string type. To solve this problem, we use the generics function, which is a general algorithm that work for all data types. So I simply start writing my generics print array function after this write your code here comment pageant. So to solve this problem you simply use templates. So I simply write template and then type name and name it anything you want. So I name it Rupam and after that you simply start writing this print array function and inside of print array you simply declare a vector type array and you simply write this template inside of this vector and name it anything you want so I name it A. So this is the syntax and we simply declare this vector type array A and inside of this print array function you simply make a for loop and this for loop start with 0 and it go up to the size of a and then increment the i variable. So inside of this you simply print the element of this array. So here the 0 
and after that you simply write C out and inside of that A I and write endl. So the simple code of the generics program are done. So I simply check by clicking the run code. And here congratulations bar is present. So I simply click submit code to check some additional test cases. So here two test cases are passed and we got 30 points and also four star batch. So this is a great feeling and I think you understand this problem and if you any doubt please comment in the comment section and please like and share my videos and please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notification when I upload a new video. So this is for the day 21. See you in the day 22. Thank you friend. Goodbye.